Hello YouTubers and welcome to a new video for Epas for Dinner. So for the ones who don't know me, my name is Andrea and I make videos about my life in the Czech Republic. Um, I'm actually going to be reading in this video because this is quite a serious video that you saw it, uh, by the title. So I wrote this last night and I think it kind of sums up how the people who live in Czech Republic are feeling at the moment. So here we go. So I'll be looking a little bit down because I have it written here. So inspired a bit by Jen's last video um, by Dream Prague, I decided to put together one for all of you wondering what are countries from Central and Eastern Europe feeling about the Ukraine situation. It's not new to anyone that Ukraine and Czech Republic share a lot of common aspects. First, we're both Slavic nations, the language and the culture is similar, and even the infrastructure and architecture of the cities is alike. We are also used to having a lot of Ukrainians living in the Czech Republic, so they can literally be the next door neighbor. I know the new tenants from our old flat are Ukrainians, actually. But most of all Czechs here share a great fear of Russia. I feel that ever since Russia invaded and began the war and genocide in Ukraine, Czechs have got extremely nervous. Conversations go along the lines of what will you do when the Russians come? Will you fight? And I'm not joking. This war has brought a lot of PTSD or post-traumatic syndrome disorder on an entire nation that suffered for many decades the misery that means to be on the Russian's thumb. I personally feel sad for Ukraine and have donated and spread news as much as I can, but I was still feeling it too far. Until I checked the map, well, not the map, but the distance from the border of Czech Republic to the border of Ukraine, and it's only five hours away by car. To give you an idea, that's the distance from Disney in Orlando to Miami and that's not far at all. Also, having a person that I know having to run away from Ukraine being eight months pregnant and fearing for her life scared me and was like a reality check. So while in Czech Republic, people are gathering food, medicine, and money to send to Ukraine, also accepting Ukrainian refugees in their homes and literally erasing the borders for any Ukrainian people running from there. All that has happened while we kind of make normal life. And I say kind of because I slowly stacked up some food out of fear. I also tend to panic whenever I hear a plane pass by the house. I wake up in the middle of the night to read the news. And finally, we have made an escape plan. A list of things that we would take with us in case of an invasion. Keeping some cash in euros, cars, tanks full, just in case. Unable to make plans and realizing how my parents changed the conversation when I tried talking to them about visiting us in December or how my in-laws don't even want to talk about any of it. This war is not here, but it could be. This is not happening to us, but to our neighbors. And in times like this, I just feel like praying. Praying for good, prevailing against evil. Praying for a stop fire. Praying for Ukraine and for all the soldiers and civilians killed. This shouldn't be happening in the 21st century, and I blame it on the world, a world of cowards that will allow Russia and Putin destroy an entire nation because of what? Fear of Russia? What a shame. I have encountered feelings in all this matter, but I can tell you that it is not time for judging civilians. I have friends who are men that escape because they have small children, because their wives were pregnant, because they were scared. And that's all valid, because the only thing that is really wrong is the invasion by part of the Russians. Today, I heard a phrase that read, in the war, there's no I should have. You did what felt best and now you carry on. So that's today's video. I guess it's a very short video. I just wanted to let you all know that watch my channel from abroad. How are the feelings here in the Czech Republic and how are we handling more or less the situation in Ukraine? I'm also going to leave some links down below from um, accounts that are collecting money for Ukrainian families and to help in Ukraine. So if you want to go check that out and that's it for today. So I'll see you soon with a new video. Thank you. Bye bye.